chickadees. Welcome back to the back 40. I did it. Okay, it's going to be a fast update on our 12 and 12 uh, challenge combo with Daisy and Grace challenge. But the scrapbook paper is done. It is done. And it was a mess. I don't have a before picture because I'm just, it was just too big of a mess to share with you. But I do have an after picture and I'll show it to you now. It was on his shelf, just stacked all the way across, standing up and down vertically on the shelf. And it was separated by color and stripes and that kind of stuff. Uh, I didn't use it. It was hard. I'd pull it out. It was a mess. Couldn't get stuff. It was a mess. Stuff piled on top of stuff. It was terrible. That's the shelf. <clears throat> and it was just from one side of the shelf all the way to the other side of the shelf stacked from the bottom all the way up to the top and uh, what I did was in that turquoise colored basket is all of the fall and solid colors and then in the other one is uh, spring and summer and uh, like holiday kind of travel um it was, it's travel and birthday and uh spring and summer stuff together and then the holidays related to the spring and summer months the fall is and winter is in the turquoise one and that is a holiday associated with the winter and fall months is in there with it so that's kind of i can just take that according to the months just grab either the turquoise or the gray one then in between the two is my wizard of Oz book that i'm have from to do my wizard of Oz journal collection um so i put it between there to keep it upright without getting bent and then on the other side of the gray one to the left is all of my paper packs that i have not broken down that are new like tim holtz of uh, 49 graphic and um that one that i was doing with stella bug and then my mixed media ones that i have those are all there on that side um and that's it i have room now in front of the shelf the way this scrapbook paper was standing up before like this it took the whole shelf uh front and you know the whole width of the shelf now I have room in front of these boxes that if I need to set another little box or something on for in front of them, I can. So that did free up some space, but it also organized, it made it look a whole lot neater. I mean, this looks neat. Organized and straight now, and I finally finished it. It took me all week, but it is done. D-O-N-E, done. Woohoo! Also, um, let's see. Okay, here we go. Um, also, up when I was cleaning that up, up under my desk, uh, where I'm sitting right now, there's a cubby hoe to the right and a big cubby hoe to the left. And that was just stacked full of stuff. And it looks a little full now. And the picture's blown up where you can't see it. Um, I don't know how to make it smaller. It's a lot cleaner than it was. So um, I just have my calendars that I bought from Cheryl laying across the top. And that is a box that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, this reinforced, a good sturdy box. And it has my magazines and my cut-up books in it. And then my templates are on top of that behind the counter. That's it. That's all that's in there. Before it was just stuff full of stuff. And then on the other side over here, 
Um, I have my package from Birdie that I'm going to make my journal in. And then right here starts, um, that is our art, our ideals book, uh, documentation book that we did. That is where uh, Bubba Tina is now, have, that's Bubba Tina's home, and the art journal, and uh, our glue book. That is, I have one of those uh, file racks that holds the files up and down, so the books just sit in that. Um, and then um, on the other side of that is some cardboard and stuff that I have that I make uh, books and stuff out of. And that's all this up under there now. Um, so that is a lot cleaner because it was just, I mean, I couldn't put my foot under there. I couldn't do anything. It was just, okay, that's it. Um, we It took me all day, but I did the um, scrapbook cleaning up, up under my desk cleaning up, got all that organized, de-stashed what I didn't need, like all those 18 gazillion pieces of cardboard, um, and organized everything, gave everything um, its a home for it. Um, and then the next step that we have is to make an ephemera, a customized ephemera holder for our completed stuff that we've been mass making. Um, go and collect all of my uh, completed made ephemera and decide whether I'm going to put it in a happy mail tub for happy mail, send it out in happy mail, put it in the completed box to use or recycle by redoing it to make it more fitting that is all we have left to do on the 12 and 12 challenge for this month um that's it okay well i'll see you on the next go round bye